Today is Monday, and last night the power went out. Um, so as you can see, the hotel is like dark, and I think it's around eight o'clock right now. Um, so like the only light we're getting is from this um, window right here. Um, last night we were looking at the security cameras at the house, and um, it seemed to be pretty bad. Like our front yard looked like a river, and um, yeah, it was super windy and pretty bad. Hours out, so I can't take the elevator. I have to take the stairs, and I'm gonna go check out downstairs and how everything's going down there. So the only thing they have lighting the hotel are these tiny little lights, so it's still super dim, but you've got these tiny lights, and then you've got the natural lighting, which doesn't really help much in the whole hotel, but you can, it still helps a little bit. Two bagels and a muffin. Falling off the bridge. So, the power's out so the waffle maker doesn't work, which is kind of unfortunate, because like the waffles are the best part. So, I just ended up getting some cereal. You know, they ran out of bacon. Um, but they still have eggs, but I'm not really a big fan of the eggs. So I'm just eating some Fruit Loops and Christian. I was eating two bagels and a muffin. Wow. What? You're not eating those? And then why'd you get them? Oh. Good idea. He's stocking up in case of we all die because there's no food. Very smart. I just looked at the radar and uh, showed that it was kind of past Jacksonville, kind of in Atlanta right now. Um, that's why it's not too bad out, but you can still see some debris and like, I don't know, random things just kind of laying around. But it's definitely a lot worse back in Melbourne area. Um, I think it kind of died down when it was in Jacksonville, but <clears throat> it was enough to put the power out, so the things that kind of limited on the things that I can do today um, Probably just try to finish up some math homework. There's like an impossible problem um, It's like sine of tangent 2x and it's like impossible to solve um, Christian didn't even know how to solve it until He had like a revelation randomly and it's like, oh, I know how to solve it so I'm going to try to have that revelation this morning. Probably not going to be able to use the computer. Or I'm going to try to minimize the use of the phone. Have it on low battery mode. Just because you don't know when the power is going to go back on. Oh yeah. I'm going to do some calculus homework. Which is right here. So me, Austin, and my father. That just doesn't sound right. Yeah, it does. Oh, anyways. We're going to... um leave early today um, because we're trying to beat the traffic and like the storms kind of passed like I said so we're gonna try to get out of here before everyone else starts heading back so um, we're, we're packing up right now getting the last essentials and then hopefully it's just like a three-hour trip back and we can get back and start putting the house back together
kind of scared to go in. There's like leaves right there. Oh, there's leaves right there. Charles, dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, we dry and dry. Good so far, so far, so good. Ooh, the front door is going to be interesting. It smells a little bad in here. Ooh. Yeah, we've got some flooding on the front. Like it, maybe it kind of seeped through a little, but not really a lot. So, so far the only water that we've seen is the front door and there's just a little moist. Um, currently checking out the garage. Ooh, smells pretty disgusting. We left Rutherford in here. Uh, and yes, he's still alive, but boy does it smell. We'll probably wheel him out. Austin, you wanna reel Rutherford out real quick? Jeez, that just smells disgusting. And the pool looks like it has a few branches in it, but overall it's not that bad. It could have been a lot worse. And I haven't looked at the pull-up bar area yet. I mean, right here, there's just tons of little branches. And these are the prickly ones too, so that's really annoying. The pull-up bars are still up and functional, I think. Let me see here real quick. Yep, they're definitely still functional. And other than that, the fence kind of went down a little bit. But yeah, it is favorable, I would say, considering the footage we saw on the news yesterday. Go in, do you want the debris over there? I was like, hey, this isn't right. What's this thing? So go to the fence. I'm like, wait, that's stuck in the fence. So I pull it out, this bachelor looking <laughs> Weapon thing. Yeah, thing. Probably whipping around in that 100 mile an hour yeah, landing so just got stuck in the fence. We've got like a random little drainage. Actually, not drainage. I don't even know what that is. Just like a random thing in just the middle of this debris right here. Um, and then when we go to the front yard, which you've already seen quite a bit of footage of, that's just piled with um, like dead palm tree leaves. Um, from like those trees right there and then yeah so unfortunately some of the flooding did get to um, the deck area on the the um, living room or not living room the front um, door right there kind of did get some water in and we're hanging out the mats right now which are kind of dripping wet as we speak now I just tripped on something but yeah, so right now it's just gonna be a matter of picking it all up, getting it out to the end of the street, and getting the air working in the house. myself all right here, here i'll take over austin was just filming but he doesn't really know how to work the gimbal i just weighed myself two minutes ago and it said that i was 160 pounds but then i hop on as you just saw and it said i was what 154 150. i knew i wasn't 160 i can't gain that much weight in a short amount of time but anyways i think i'm that's probably realistic that i'm 154 you hop on again and see what it says for you but yeah, we weren't eating the best in the hotel because like we were eating our hurricane survival food in case if we like die because, okay, so Austin's still 162, which is about pretty accurate. Um, he's obviously a lot bigger than me. Man, if I was 160, that would have been depressing. We've got the generator running, so we've got this long cord and then We've got it hooked up to the refrigerator, so right now this is like the only thing that has power in the house. Um, yeah, so I'm currently unloading the car right now. I've got some of the books and stuff here, but after that, I don't really know what we're gonna do. I guess we're just gonna find out. Thankfully, I grabbed a cliff bar on the way out from the hotel. I'm kinda hungry right now. Um, didn't really have much of a breakfast because the hotel didn't have much. Um, but this should come in handy. It has a little bit of caffeine in it, but I'm gonna start the yard work now So that's gonna give me some energy to be hauling all the branches and leaves that 
fell and yeah I'm probably gonna be in the yard for about an hour to two hours today It's been about three hours and we've cleaned the whole backyard, Austin and I. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, we still got the pool to go, but I'm done for now. We've been pretty hard at it. And then the breezeway looks brand new how it did before the storm, but I'll show you guys all the stuff in the driveway is just loaded like the whole backyard was just full of these dead branches with the spikes on them and as you can see they're just lining the entire driveway like that was not fun but anyways i don't even know what's up next we might try to look for some food see if any food places are open i'm gonna try to shower